Ladies and gentlemen, for probably the third or fourth time in the series so far, I'd like to welcome you to my favorite save block in the Citadel here in Paper Mario, the Origami King. We just finished up everything we needed to do across the Overlook Tower, the mountain itself, and we defeated the evil powers of the Red Streamers, and so everything is filled up. Cats are starting to fight, which means we are well on our way to the next area, which happens to be the Autumn Mountain. Now, a lot of people already have their grievances about this particular area, and while I can see it and I can appreciate it for what it's worth, I don't think it's that bad. I think people are blowing it out of perspective, but I guess that's for you to find out now that we can finally enter the good old tram. Yep, catch you red. Hey, what's the holdup? Everything okay out there? Oh uh, yeah, everything's fine, sir. Just getting these final passengers ready. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, for as long as this flight is, I guess, I don't know. It's weird to say who would be right in this situation, but hooray for saves, I suppose. Wow, this is amazing. We're up so high, the view is so vast. These mountains are huge. Are you seeing this, Mario? I mean, he's kind of staring out the same window you are. Mountains everywhere. Why didn't anyone tell me that the world could be so, so wonderful? Is this your first time out of the house or some? Oh, were you asleep? I'm so sorry to mean to wake you. I'm just very excited. Hmm, my friend Mario and I are on a quest to follow a big blue streamer. Yeah, we're roadies. We're fanboys. We love it. <laughs> what brings you aboard this tram today? Me? Well, I'm the bomb It's a wonderful name. Also, cats fighting. And that's about all I can remember. <laughs> you know that memory loss thing? What's it called? Ambrosia? Amnesty? Thinky, thinky, panic? Cute. Whatever you call it, I've got it. In space, I'm on a solo journey to try and remember, well, anything. Ray for amnesia being the crutch to uh, plot and character development. So he has no idea who he is, and his name is just Babam. Or is it? So, yeah. Poor guy. I have a great idea! You should join us on our quest! We can help you recover your lost memories and make a ton of new ones along the way. What do you say? Wouldn't it be great if this guy joined us? Eh, well, if he's up for it, uh, I couldn't put you two out like that. I mean, it's a kind offer, but I don't even have any special moves. I'd just be in the way, lounging around in battles and whatnot. I mean, I could probably be talked into it if you really wanted, but uh, okay, never mind. You raised some great points. It's probably better for you to travel alone. Sorry to bother you. Have a good journey. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, look at it. Oh, more mountains. There's people climbing over there. Even gianter mountains. What a great sight. Uh, hey, uh, is that offer still on the table, you know, to uh, join you too? Because I might be uh, considering it. Joining you, that is, on your quest. You, with the cool stash and the big M. Your name was Mario, right? That sounds so familiar. I feel like you're some kind of pro in this adventuring business. So can I join you? That is, please? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really feeling the way that you just treated us, so... For the time being, no. Come back when you've got a couple of vocal lessons. <laughs> right, because I said all that stuff about being in the way. Yeah, I'd just be a burden, I guess. I got no hard feelings. I'm gonna need a nap a bit before we get to Autumn Mountain. Cool. Alright, well, I'm glad that resolved itself nicely. Okay, so, listen. Uh, I thought about it a bit more, and that floaty lady already invited me to join, right? Taking that offer back now would be really mean, and uh, you don't look like a mean guy. So here it is, cards on the table. I would love to join you both. Yeah, I don't know. This still feels a little insincere, and I think we'd be better off without you, to be completely honest. I'm good. <laughs> okay. You must have your reasons. I'll just sit this one out. Some other time, maybe. Did I mention that I've lost all my memories? Sorry, I just wanted to make sure you caught that part. Uh, you've been extremely quiet. Which is cool, don't get me wrong, love the strong, silent hero type, even though that is also a tried formulate response for character development. Master and pupil, hero and sidekick, fate must have brought us together, you can't deny fate, right? Well actually, yeah, I believe in a thing called free will and fate can just go suck itself. 
Sorry, was that no, I can't deny fate, or no, you can't join us? I should have phrased it better. Hmm. <laughs> Cats, you're ruining the suspense. Please, please let me join you. Okay, fine. Hooray. Oh, check it out. The top of that mountain is bright red. That has to be Autumn Mountain. Also, it's directly where the tram is leading us, so no surprises there. You're right, that mountain practically screams Autumn. That has to be it. That means we'll be stopping soon. I can't wait to stretch my legs, assuming I have them somewhere. Yeah, you know, a, a Mr. Potato Head type action figure by Nintendo, by the likenesses of Baboms, is probably something they could use. But his name is Babom, so I promise not to slow you down, Big M. And you too, ma'am. <sighs> Name's Olivia. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we're we're in this together, I suppose. But um, yeah, gotta love all that bright character development of of new partners in the game. Uh, I feel like we're almost to where we need to be for like the rehash of the golden days of Thousand Year Door and Paper Mario 64. And I understand that we're far gone from those glory days, but still, uh, those those were those are some good times. The leaves are such a bright shade of red; it's so beautiful. This looks like the perfect place to make new memories. For sure, Bombert. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we should probably start following that blue streamer. Indeed. So he's going to follow us around, but unfortunately, he does not partake in battles, and he does not take to getting smashed on the head very well. So let's start by saving a couple of toads. Welcome to Autumn Mountains. Up in Autumn. Oh, Mario. Thanks for the save. Come see me if you want to ride the tram. Cool. Well, you were not really needed to operate it, so thanks for that, I guess. So, uh, some of the spots that need to be filled in are pretty hard to find, and uh, overall, this area isn't entirely difficult, it's just a little bloated in spots. Flops for flopping me out. Flop, oh, it's Mario. Uh, thanks a fl- oh, god damn. I've been stuck on this mountain for days, longing for the open sea. See, I'm actually Sea Captain Toad. It was the perfect name that my parents bestowed upon me at birth. I appreciate it. The C is actually short for Claude, so don't tell anyone. <laughs> so he's going to be tending to a ship in Toad Town, and uh, it's going to be fun business when we head all the way back over there. The idea of cruising around the open ocean sounds so elegant, so dangerous, so mysterious. Hmm, if only we had some sort of water navigating contraption of our own somewhere that we've seen in the past. <laughs> but we'll talk about that later. So let's go over here. Uh, do you need to be filled in? You do. And you will have nothing. So you want to actually keep a close lookout on the ground for things and other areas that we can visit, such as this little secret pathway to behind the station. And you notice all of these? Well, right inside of them is a block. So at least they tell you. At least they tell you it's there. Now, you see anything else odd in this picture? Yes, maple leaves don't exist in Nintendo Land. Get out of here! the Canadian toad and I think as far as everything else is concerned that is the last one back here yahoo indeed all right so we're pretty much done over here um, this area is a really straightforward also it's just a matter of getting everything you need to uh, without having to backtrack too much so we'll head over here and <gasps> sweet Jesus hey this must be the streamer you two were talking about Looks like the source is off to the left. I'll scout up ahead. Yeah, maybe not, dude. Ugh. Careful, Bomas. Don't fall. <laughs> Please don't call me Bomas. My name is Bob Op. They really are nailing that into your head, aren't they? Goodness. Don't worry, I definitely heard him this time. I'll be sure not to get Bobby's name right from now on. <laughs> yeah, but of course I'm not going to say old Bombert, Bobbery, none of that. It's Babom. However, yeah, maybe it's Mr. Big M. Looks like we're blocking the way. It's a dead end. How are we supposed to follow this streamer now? Curse you, you lousy dead end. Yeah, they're way too big to jump over, even for Mario. Boy, I wish we had some other way of navigating through all of these brittle rocks. 
Anyways, I guess we can see what's on the other side of this mountain. So, yeah, let's maybe get into a couple battles. Uh, this area we're probably going to divide up into two parts, just like we did last time. But, another potential traveling buddy? Hey, Pointy, want to make some fun memories with us? I almost heard that as want to make out. <laughs> I don't know how. Damn glasses. Bobby, stop. Be careful, those folded soldiers are dangerous. This little guy, really? I guess those spikes do make him look tough. All the better for him to join our entourage. All right, yeah, watch out for the foldies. So, um, we still can't quite kill Spideys in a single attack, so we're gonna get into a good old-fashioned turn-based battle here. In the old ring system, and hopefully take him out. So we've got a couple of those guys, and I have a feeling... Three turns, please? Because I think I can do it in three. Oh, two. So we do that, right? Oh, no. But then we wouldn't... Okay, so we can't even do that. Let's try something... Like this. Like if I do, boom, rotate these guys right there. There we go. And you over here. There we go. Yeah, sometimes it works better to just try to focus on lining up a specific type of enemy. Uh, I don't think we can kill these Paragoombas, actually. We'd need to use iron or shiny boots. My shiny boots and me. And do we even have... Hold on, let's see. Do I have two shiny boots? I do. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and use them because uh, we are probably going to need to jump on some spinies and I only have two iron boots. So we'll do this and uh, we'll make sure they're dead. And also, you'll notice that Bobby has joined our crew. We're just kind of loitering around. He's slothing. He's slothing about. And of course, this regular old hammer can take care of these guys. So, yay for that, I guess. Bam! Done. Beautiful. I love this arena too. I just love like the reds and the oranges and just the overall autumn-y feel of this place. So that's fun. It's not something you usually see in mountain type levels. So I enjoy it. Jeez. Okay. I uh, jeez. Okay. Well, do I have to fight you? I don't. I will say I am one of those people that generally likes getting into fights in this game, but it's not necessary. And you probably shouldn't. <laughs> oh, hi there, little fishies. These mountain fish must spend their whole lives flopping around on the surface. How interesting. Yeah. Uh, you know, I lost my memory, but that doesn't sound right. Don't most fish kind of need water? <sighs> yeah, maybe. These cheap cheeps. <laughs> poor, poor souls. Uh, so you can actually fight another cheap cheap if you want. This one's folded up, so we probably should before he tries to get us. Oh, I missed it. Not that it matters. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, there's a lot of you guys. Don't like that. Okay. Two turns? Or th two... One turn. Okay, well, I guess we just do this then. I take... No. Wait a minute. Which ones do I do? One of these I have to... Like... This one? This one. No. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to do... Shoo. Hold on. So, sadly, Olivia's hints are not very helpful in the sense that she will usually always say this, but it gives you a chance to kind of look at the screen... Somewhat staticky. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to just slide one of these down, but they're all across from each other. And it wouldn't make sense to divide up the one, so it would have to be this one almost. But I can't do anything about it. So maybe. No. This would seem to be the right one. No. Uh. Yeah, this one maybe, I guess. No, because that's one, two. We would need four turns for that. Shoot. Well. I am at a... well, never mind. We'll just do that. There I go, overthinking it again. So we can just take him out regularly. You guys are not the strongest in the world. One, two, three, and four. That's embarrassing. <laughs> it's like some of these you look at and you see right away the answer. And other times you overthink it. It's perfectly okay. This is honestly a battle I probably could have cut out, but... It's also the only Cheap Cheeps we'll be fighting up here, so... I figured it warranted a visit. So, there we go. Nice. And there we have it. Jeep Jeep's done. Puzzle completion? Hardly, but still. Alright, good fight, my friend. Good fight. Uh, so, yeah, nothing there. Also, look at this. All of these cans. Interesting. Certainly could not be of any importance here, could they? By God. A boat? All the way up here? Oh, Bobby, you poor thing. I might not be that well-traveled, but I do know that boat's float. This thing is just sitting here. It can't possibly be a boat. 
<laughs> oh, the intricacies of the English language and the Turing's of artificial intelligence. <laughs> How cruel. Yeah, I know what a boat is. <laughs> if there's a boat here, then there's supposed to be a lake. Not necessarily, but I see where you're going. Thought you could trick me. The Nintendo <laughs> AI dialogue writing team. Sweet Jesus, it's all dried up. Wow, that's astounding. So this is a lake? Wait, that's dangerous. We can get soaked. We have to get out of here before we get pulped. Well, it looks dry, so we're probably fine. <laughs> but if there was water, we could ride in the boat. Maybe get some treasure. Yeah. Or we could float over the dead end. Yeah, we gotta fill back up. Or should we even start? I don't know. Maybe we could look around a spell. See other boats here. And not get attacked by a pair of goons. Yeah, this is this is an interesting premise for a stage, but I do like it. Water temple, water area. It's nice. All right, let's save you, little Toad Man. You got something good for us? I came here to see if I could get a job with the river tours, but I ended up getting canned. Literally. Oh boy. Yeah, tour guide must really love tuna. I'll bet paddling with one oar works up an appetite. Yeah, no kidding. By the way, it's a monkey. How's it going? <laughs> oh, what are you doing up there? Oh god. There he goes. <laughs> Must be shy. Indeed. Yeah, so if we check this, this is a lot of canned tuna. Must be an entire year's worth. Let's see, label we'll say <laughs> a nut. <laughs> What's his an ut? That's not what it says. Oh, wait. I was reading it backwards. I guess it's just tuna. <gasps> oh, boy, oh boy. Story. Oh, all right, cool. So we can't really do anything about that monkey just yet, so we'll just have to kind of forget about it. But this is the Master Oarsman's Relaxing Down River Tours at the Boat Landing. Fun stuff. Oh, cool. Oh, you're gonna go head over there. Very well. I guess we'll have a quick. We'll have a quick look. Look at that incredible view, right? And check out that building over there, getting total shrine vibes. Yes. If I were a big shot water spirit, I'd want to live in a place just like that. Hmm, I agree, Bobby. It does look very watery and shrine-like. Hold on. A water shrine for some kind of water spirit. Also, I lied. There are a ton of cheap cheeps over there. <laughs> Could that be the water elemental shrine? Oh, yep. It has to be home of the water elemental. Lord of all liquids. Yikes. All right. So, yep. Why don't we ask if we can fill the lake back in? Sure thing. This kind of feels like it's something right out of Bravely Default for those of you who played that or watched the series on the channel, which is unlikely, considering the views. Look at this magic circle. It's got a real water elemental look to it, don't you think? Hmm. With the magic circle like this. I'm sure we could do something about the dry lake. Let's head over to that shrine, Mario. Here we come. So, of course, we can't do anything over here, and that's where that other toad was being ringing near the entrance of this place but next time join me on paper mario the origami king as we make our deep dark descent into the tall grass plains thusly making our use for the toad radar come into service right at the moment where i thought i wasn't gonna need it so thank you guys so much and i will see you guys here next time bobby can you stop following me <laughs>